Hello and welcome to this short video tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can attend an online course as a learner using VizIQ mobile application. So the very first step is you will go to the respective Play Store and the Apple Store and download the app. Once you have downloaded and installed your application, you can launch the app icon and you will land on the login page wherein you can use your learner credentials to login into the application. Once you have logged in, you will land by default on the courses page. However, you can also see two additional options here, the live classes option as well as your profile option. For now, we will concentrate on the first option, which is the online courses. So you as a learner can consume two kinds of courses here. Number one is the self paced and number two is the scheduled. Let's see how you as a learner can go ahead and access a self paced course in VizIQ. So when you click on the title of the course, you can see there is an about button. If I click on this option, then you will be able to go through the entire overview which the trainer has defined. Once you are done, you can go back and then you can see the complete schedule which the trainer has designed for you. So let's get started with the first content which is a PowerPoint presentation. So this is the view of a presentation for me as a learner. One by one, I can start flipping through slides and learn out of them. If I want to zoom in the content, I have an option of pinching and zooming and it gives me a very clear picture of the content written on the top of a slide. Once I'm done with the learning, I can go back and similar way I can keep on accessing other content files. Let us see how you can watch a video inside a mobile application. So within the mobile application, you can access all different kinds of contents, including PowerPoints, PDF files, audio video files, Excel sheets, as well as document files like this. In case the trainer has uploaded any assessment, then you can see that you have an option of submitting your test using the mobile application. So this is a sample assessment wherein you can see the time allowed is unlimited. There is one section here which contains six questions. There are unlimited attempts allowed. The weightage for each question is one mark. To get started with the test, I'll click on start test button. So this is the landing screen for me, wherein on the top right, you can see there is a timer. On the top left, you can see there is a section button using which in case there are multiple sections, you can go to a specific section and attempt the questions. Down below, you can see there's a question and then there are multiple options. And one by one, I can start submitting my responses. In case you want to review, you can also go to the previous and double check your responses. Finally, you can click on submit button in order to submit your assessment. Immediately after submitting your assessment, you will get a comprehensive scorecard wherein you can track your score. If you scroll down, you can see two items here. Number one is the summary wherein you can track the total number of questions you attempted, how many questions were correct, what was the time taken and what is your rank. And if I click on analysis, then you can see the total number of attempts you have already made, what is the lowest score and what is the highest score. In case the trainer has given you the review access, you can see the button on the right hand side. In case you want to re attempt then the button is available on the left hand side for now we will review this assessment so the reviewing of the assessment works basically as an answer key wherein you can track which question you answered as correct and which question you answered as incorrect once you have entirely reviewed the assessment you can click on close and go back to your course schedule so this was an example of a self-paced course now let's see how you can access a scheduled course now the fundamental difference between a self-paced and a scheduled course is that in this case you will be having week and day wise schedule. For example, you can see here this is week 1 introduction to leadership and under week 1 you can see day wise activities have been defined. Same goes for week number 2, 3 and so on and so forth. So again if I want to access any content I can click on that and the content will become visible to me and I can get started with the learning. Again, I have an option that I can pinch and zoom and maximize the size of the content. Similarly, if there is a live lecture within the schedule course, then you can see it under the program schedule itself. For example, in this case, under week 6 and on 5th of March, there is a live lecture on leadership theories. So when the right date and time will come, you will find an option of launching it and then you can enter into the live classroom and have a live interaction with the trainer. Once you are done with your course learning, you can go to your profile icon and click on log out. 
and this will take you out of the mobile application thank you so much for watching this short video tutorial i hope that this video will help you in order to get started with online courses as a learner using visiq mobile application